गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट लेट इज कंटिन्यू चैप्टर नंबर फोर्टीन द सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी कन्वेंशनल मीन्स द सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी विच कैन नॉट बी रिन्यूड इन शॉर्ट टाइम सो दीज आर कॉल्ड कन्वेंशनल सोर्सेस ऑफ एनर्जी नाउ इन एंशियन टाइम्स वुड वॉज द मोस्ट कॉमन सोर्स ऑफ हीट एनर्जी the energy of flowing water wind energy they were also used for limited activities now can you think of some of these are their uses so here the exploitation of coal as a source of energy made the industrial revolution possible increasing industrialization has led to the better quality of life all over the world it has also caused the global demand for energy to grow at tremendous rate the growing demand for energy was largely made by fossil fuels so fossil fuels are the coal then petroleum and then the natural gas so all these are known as the fossil fuels so once they get used they cannot be replenished so these are uh, the our technologies they are also developed for using all these energy resources but these fuels were formed over millions of years ago and there are only limited resources their stock is limited and they take millions of the years to reform that's why they are called non renewable or conventional sources of energy the fossil fuel are non renewable and so the need to conserve them if we were to continue consume consuming these sources at such alarming rates we would soon run out of the energy you know the petroleum which we are which we are using at the rate up to 2020 it will last the or uh, 25 so four to five years only uh, our petroleum stock will remain afterwards what will we do all the vehicles how will run so the new sources will be discovered so here their stock is limited so in order to avoid all these problems the alternate source of energy were explored but we continue to be largely dependent on fossil fuels for most of our energy requirements so all these uh, it is our duty moral duty that whenever it is only useful we have to use otherwise we have not to use burning fossil fuels has other disadvantage also you learned in ninth standard that is make air pollution so they are along with the create the pollution smoke arise uh, releases caused by burning of the coal and petroleum products the oxides of carbon nitrogen and sulfur they are released on burning fossil fuels are acidic oxides these lead to acid rain which affects our water and resources in ninth standard you learned about the acid rain and how the water get polluted by the acid rain so in addition to the problem of air pollution recall the greenhouse effect of gases like carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide co2 it is also known as the greenhouse gas which uh, responsible for this air pollution so smoke releases from the industries from the vehicles burning of the few fossil fuels so this carbon dioxide that produces the greenhouse effect and that was also known as greenhouse gas you know about it learn in ninth standard now how would our life change if we could no longer the electricity supply you know on every step of the life we use the electricity without electricity now our life is not possible so in future if electricity will not be there what will we do the availability of electrical energy to each individual in a country is one of the parameters to measure the growth of the country the pollution caused by burning fossil fuels can be somewhat reduced by increasing the efficiency of the combustion process 
and using various techniques to reduce the escape the of harmful gases and ashes into surroundings besides being used directly for various purpose in gas stoves and vehicles do you know fossil fuels are the major fuels used for generating electricity now let us produce some electricity at our own small plant in the class and see that what goes into producing our favorite form of energy so let us perform activity 14.3 take a table tennis ball and make three slit slits sills on it and put semi circular fins cut out of the metal sheet into these slits pivot the tennis ball on the axle through its center with straight metal wire fixed to a rigid support ensure that the tennis ball rotates freely about the axle like a fan fan jaisa banana hai right now connect the cycle dynamo to this and connect the bulb in the series as shown in figure direct a jet of water or stream produced in pressure cooker at the fins figure number 14.2 what do you observe so when the uh, pressure cooker is heated then steam is produced that steam through the pipe then will able to rotate these fan which we made from the metal sheet and tennis ball so dynamo will run and you know that dynamo that convert this heat energy into electrical energy so bulb will glow okay so this is our turbine for generating the electricity the simplest turbine have one moving part the rotor blade assembly the moving fluid acts on the blades to spin them and impart the energy to rotate and rotor thus we see that basically we need to move the fan the rotor blade with speed which would turn the shaft of the dynamo and convert the mechanical energy into electrical energy here when dynamo moves it Uh, heat energy convert into mechanical energy and mechanical energy convert into electrical energy the form of energy which has become a necessary necessity of today scenario various ways in which this can be done depends upon availability of the resources we will see how various sources of energy can be harnessed to run the turbine and generate electricity in the following section now in thermal power plant now thermal power plant now you have seen the uh, sabarmati when you are going on the when the bridge to be cross at the corner our power plant is there that is thermal power plant thermo means heat the power which is made from the heat so large amount of fossil fuels are burned every day in power station you know coal is used to generate this heat and heat up water to produce the steam which is further runs the turbine to generate the electricity the transmission of electricity is more efficient than transporting the coal and petroleum over the same distance therefore many th thermal power plants are set up near coal or oil fields the term thermal power plant is used since fuel is burned to produce heat energy which is converted into electrical energy now the next topic that is hydro power plant that we will discuss tomorrow okay